It's 6.30 in the morning here in Berlin, and I'm just kind of getting out of the shower now. I finally got dressed and got up. It's my first day waking up on this 17-day tour. Today, so I'm told, we're going into Berlin, and we're doing the nice little Berlin tour. And then we are leaving around noon, and we're heading to Amsterdam, where we're only going to get there in time for dinner because I know our bus rides. Sunny Berlin. A million times better than cloudy Berlin. Check out the lock on this door, all right? My roommate last night said that he wanted to lock the chain lock here just, just because. And I just went to open the door because I heard someone in the hallway. And the chain snaps off. Like, real safe lock here. Breakfast time. There was another girl on this tour yesterday who I was kind of picking on, and I was telling her that I was going to wake her up nice and early because she likes to sleep in. Right now it's only uh, five minutes past seven, and her room is right down there. And I'm super duper tempted to go wake her up right now, but I decided first day, keep that good impression up, not going to do it. I'm here in the hotel. Good morning, guys. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Two, three. Oh! Way too many Spanish people on this bus. <laughs> yeah. We're off the bus in Berlin again. Um, we got these cool little like radio headset thingies, and from here we can hear all the tour guides. It's cool. Hi, American. Are you coming to me? Never. <laughs> Berlin Wall. It is a serious struggle to try to vlog with a big group of people because every time I pull out a camera and start talking to something, people are always jumping in. And I mean, that's not a bad thing because I really like people and I really like having all the memories and I think it's good. But at the same time, once in a while I just want to say something, you know? The wealthiest, they're losing Back exactly on a bus. The kind of people that they need. <laughs> Berlin Wall, part two. Berlin Wall. <laughs> Tour group somewhere way back there. We're sneaking away, mm -hmm. but that's that's how we are. We're Americans and then Americans Indonesian. And Indonesian. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah. we're we're just like rebellious, you know. Yeah. It's it's in our blood. Berlin's really nice with all its nice walls and all its nice international people. But it's time to say goodbye. I'm hopping on a bus for the next nine to ten hours, and I'm making my way to Amsterdam. Lunch breaks at Burger King. She got a crown. Yay! It's crazy, but here's my number. So call me baby. And all the other boys try to chase me. But here's my number. So call me baby. Take me. Crossing the border. We're in Amsterdam! Not exactly, but we're in Amsterdam! Four-star hotels here in Amsterdam. It doesn't get better than this. And as if having a four-star hotel in the middle of Amsterdam wasn't good enough, I'm on the seventh floor. I'm waiting on a friend who has the room key, and until he gets here because he didn't fit in the elevator and it made no sense for me to wait any longer, I can't really go anywhere. So right now, I'm chilling with this really cool chair here. We walked out. We walked outside the hotel now, and we're I'm, we're not we're really not supposed to be out here. But we decided to forget the rules. We're too cool for that. <laughs> and now they're all making fun of me because I'm wearing a night uh, a North Face quarter zip. Not because you're a dad. You're a dad. Yeah, you're and I'm wearing Skechers. For the record, the most comfortable shoes I've ever had. They're ugly. In the hotel, got arguably the best brochure of Jeez my entire sucks. life. With me. <laughs> It's time to go to bed. He like it. This guy here, make my life harder. Oh, you did that. They push every button on an elevator. Seven.